emerald mining is a unique in itself. Uh, actually, this starts with exploration, identifying the area where there is a probability of getting the gemstone emerald. The geology is uh, quite compli uh, complicated, and this starts with the exploration. This uh, this emerald uh, uh, mining is a bit tricky if you think about geology and geology itself it's very vast subject. The role of geology is a bit vital over in this company. You need to be very specific what we are doing, which material you are mining, whether it's completely waste or it belongs to the, uh, the proper ore which goes to the washing plant. It's a collective responsibility when you're doing the mining. The biggest hassle, or the biggest problem is the waste removal. There's just too much waste to remove and handle. You need to be very specific to, to reach into that zone where we find the emerald. So it involves a lot of science, a lot of uh, labor, like uh, we do XRFs, we find, uh, we, we follow some elements where the chances of having emeralds are higher. Our stripping ratio uh, is uh, 85. 85 stripping ratio means when, when we remove the 85 tons of waste, we get the one ton of ore which contains the emerald. And in one ton, we get only 300 carats. So if you say that, that once we remove the 85 Tons of waste, we get only the 300 carats of emerald barrel, and out of that 300 carats, 0.5 percent is of premium quality, is premium grade, and 26, which is of commercial grade. So you can see that how much investment is being done to get that 0.5 percent. What happens is that uh, the material which comes from the pits, suspected to contain some emerald material, is brought to this area where we stockpile it depending on the area where it's coming from. And so is the treatment of the same material. What we normally do is just to bring the big material, we feed it, then we crush it and wash it and then we pick. That's what these guys are doing right behind me. At Kajam, we take safety as a, as a value. Uh, a lot of people like to say safety is a priority, but here we take it more than just a priority. It's a value, and as such, before anyone does anything, the first thing they have to consider is their safety. So for them to make sure that they do their job right, we have a strong emphasis on uh, hazard identification. So prior to doing a task, you look at what could go wrong with regards to safety, and then you'll assess the level of risk that is attached to that activity and then you put in place uh, control measures and you constantly monitor how effective these control measures are and that in itself is uh, a cycle that assists us in making sure that everyone is being kept safe, everyone is aware of the hazards that are in their work environment and measures have been put in place to control those hazards.